So now we have seen couple of things that we can do while drafting emails. Now is a very important part. We are going to talk about formatting email body. So you know that all the fields except body are just plain text. For example, to CC subject, you cannot do any kind of formatting with these fields. But the body is that part where you can do formatting. You can have images in that, you can have tables in that, you can have bold, italic, underline, you can choose any font. So all the things you can do with the body. Okay, now we need to see how we can set formatting on the body using VBA. So you can see the code that we have written so far. We have a application launched, we have created a mail item and now we add a width block to set the properties, for example, to CC and subject. And then we'll be talking about body and HTML body. Okay, so I have set two as test at the rate test.com subject as bonus letters. And now I put dot body. And let's say I put something like hello Kamal. And I want to add a message below that. But before that, I need a new line. So for that, I can use VB new line. And if you add multiple lines, you can just concatenate with multiple number of lines using this only. And then you can put more text. For example, your next sentence. So you have performed well in last quarter and you receive a bonus of 100% let's say. So after that we put a regards and then the name and then let's say your contact information or this can be a generic text that you. Okay so this is a very common type of syntax that you generally see in all the messages that you send through Outlook. So I add another new line character and then I put regards and then name. All right. So this way you can add new line characters in the body, but you cannot do any type of formatting in the body. Okay. So we can run this code and see how it prints. If I put dot display here, let's see. So this is the mail and you can see we have a plain text, but we have the new line characters in place. All right. Now I want to do the formatting. So when we talk about formatting, we need to talk about HTML body. That means we need to send the body in terms of HTML only. Now HTML can have formatted text as well. So to explain about HTML body, what I'm doing is I'm just commenting this line dot body and I'm adding another property, which is HTML body. And I copy the same message that I have used earlier. So I'm copying the same message that I have used above. Okay. So we have hello Kamal and then we have new line and then we have the statement and then regards and whatever. Okay. I want to, let's say, make it bold. Let's say only hello Kamal. I want to make it as bold. So I can add bold tag here. And if I run it, you can see the text would be in bold. Now you must have observed one thing that we don't have the actual message with a new line. We don't see any new line character here. The reason is when we talk about HTML, in that case, this VB new line doesn't work. You can add a new line using br tag. Okay. And if you want to add spaces, you can add block quote or you can add NBSP. Okay. This way you can add spaces or new line characters. You can add as many EBRs you want. It could be adding a new line for you in the HTML body. Okay. So I just replace all the VB new lines with this one and this would be one string only. So if I run this, you would see proper line spaces are added as well you can see the hello Kamal in bold. So this is just one property. You can use font tag to set the font type or make it italic underline, whatever you want to do, you can do using the tags that we have in HTML. Now, if you want to see details of how HTML would be working, I would suggest you to go to some basic concepts of HTML. You can find it anywhere on Google and then you can try to put those tags here in the HTML body and check the result in the output mail now let's say we have this html which is having just a table and it also has a border and you can see three rows and one header here so you want to have this data in your email so what you can do is you can remove the body and html tags and just copy the table part and paste it as it is in the message anywhere you want and then you can remove the spaces and then put it in one line and you can run the code and you would see the same table is generated in your Outlook mail item as well. So this way you can produce formatted text in the body using HTML body property. Now this was a standard table that we have copied directly from the page source and we pasted it here. 
Now let's say we want some values to be picked from Excel file and we want the table structure like that only. So what we can do, we can break down this entire table HTML into parts and then whatever value we want to print in between, we can concatenate with the value that we want to pick from the Excel. For example, I just want to have first name and last name here in the two columns. So what I'll do is I'll remove this first name, I'll put double quotes here and then I put a concatenation ampersand symbol and then I will put here cells. I can give reference of any cell. Now you will see that when we run this, the values are not hard coded in the code, but these values are coming from the Excel file. This way you can parameterize it.